Albert Einstein theorized that when electromagnetic waves with energy above a certain threshold strike a metal, a free electron can be ejected and gain velocity. He explained this phenomenon by introducing the concept of the work function of a metal. The work function represents the minimum energy required to release an electron from the metal, and it is specific to each type of metal. For this groundbreaking work, Einstein was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1921, not for his theory of relativity as many think, but for his explanation of the photoelectric effect. This work also laid the foundation for quantum mechanics, as it demonstrated light's dual nature, behaving both as a wave and as a particle. However, the energy needed to eject an electron from a metal does not necessarily have to come from electromagnetic waves. Heat energy can also serve this purpose, a realization that led to the invention of the electron gun. An electron gun releases, focuses, and accelerates an electron beam by utilizing heat and electric dark magnetic fields. Let's examine a step-by-step -step explanation of how this system works. To free electrons, a metal target is heated to high temperatures. A filament, a thin metallic resistance wire, and a voltage source are used to convert electrical energy into heat. The heated filament transfers this heat to the metal target. The free electrons in the metal gain sufficient energy to escape the metal surface, and any excess energy is imparted to the electrons as kinetic energy. Electrons lost from the metal are replenished by a voltage source. The maximum number of free electrons that can escape depends on the heat energy, which directly determines the strength of the electron beam. The ejected electrons, having gained kinetic energy, move randomly in various directions. To focus these electrons into a beam, the filament metal system is surrounded by a negatively charged cylindrical electrode. The negative charge on the cylinder repels electrons traveling in unwanted directions, forcing them to pass through a small aperture in the center of the cylinder, thereby aligning them along the desired path. Even after passing through the aperture, the electrons may not be perfectly focused and could diverge. To further focus and accelerate these electrons, electric fields and magnetic fields are used. A pre-accelerator is often used to provide initial control over the electron beam. The pre-accelerator is a short cylinder or disc with a central hole for the electron beam to pass through, placed near the focusing electrode, with a positive charge applied to it. Its purpose is to gently attract the electrons, giving them an initial boost in velocity while ensuring they remain aligned. This step gives the electrons back the energy they lost in the first focusing grating. To form a precise beam, the electrons must be properly focused. Focusing electrode usually made of cylindrical or funnel-shaped metals, and a negative voltage is applied to it. This negative charge pushes the electrons toward the center, preventing them from spreading. Additionally, some electron guns a suitably applied positive voltage can draw the electrons closer to the center for finer focusing. However, if the positive voltage is too high, the electrons may collide with the electrodes or deviate from their intended path, leading to loss of focus. Hollow cylinders are shaped in series to accelerate accelerate electrons, creating a uniform electric field for uniform acceleration. The positively charged A node attracts the electrons, causing them to gain kinetic energy. The velocity of the electrons is controlled by the potential difference between the filament and the anode. This allows the electron gun to produce beams with variable energy levels, tailored for different applications. Electrons naturally tend to have velocity components that are not perfectly aligned with the desired direction due to thermal motion or imperfections in the focusing process. To maintain the focus and alignment of the beam, magnetic fields are applied both during the focusing and acceleration stages of the electron gun. Magnetic lenses, designed as circular rings or solenoids, produce uniform magnetic fields that guide the electrons. These fields correct deviations by causing electrons with perpendicular velocity components to spiral, ensuring the beam remains tightly focused and aligned throughout its path. The electron gun is a critical device in many fields that require accelerated electron beams. For instance, it is used in X-ray tubes for producing X-rays, particle accelerators, double-slit experiments to study quantum phenomena, oscilloscopes to measure time-dependent voltage changes, electron microscopes to observe atoms by treating electrons as waves, and in cathode ray tubes to generate images using electron beams.